I'm Steve Wetzel, Principal Application Engineer for Southwire Cable Tech Support Services, and I'm here today to show you the difference that cable can make between your variable frequency drive and your motors. What we're showing is two motors running from two different drives, and what we're running is on this motor over here, we're just running standard building wire between the drive and the motor. On this motor here, we're running properly terminated variable frequency drive cable. What difference does that make in your installation? We're gonna take a look at a couple different parameters. We're gonna look at EMI, electromagnetic interference, and we're gonna also look at motor shaft currents. We're measuring the shaft current because we bonded these shafts to, to this plate here, and we're taking a current probe and measuring the current going to ground from the motor shaft. So, what we see here when we turn the drives on is everything is operating fine, the motors are spinning, the drives aren't tripping out, everything's good to go, we can just operate all we want. What you won't see in your factory is this over here. On the screen, here's our waveforms of our motor shaft currents. And as we look at the data, we can see that the red trace, which is the THHN motor shaft current, versus the blue trace, the VFD cabled motor shaft current. You can see that the THHN, we're looking at up to about four amps of current spikes on that motor shaft, compared with consistently less than a single amp on the VFD cable. This is even more interesting when you realize these are only half horsepower drives. They're only putting out about 1.1 amps on their phase conductors. Yet we're seeing multiples of that on the motor shaft. That kind of current on your motor shaft, because it's flowing through the motor uh, bearings to the motor shaft and then the ground, that can create bearing fluting, scarring those bearings, damaging them, and causing motor failure. Now you won't see that failure for up to six to 12 months after installation but it's happening all the time. So everything starts up, everything works fine in your factory. Six months later, you have a motor failure. The other feature that we can look at is EMI. So if I look here, this is my EMF tester. It's measuring volts per meter of electromagnetic field. As I get closer and closer to that THN cable, you can see I get some huge values for my EMI measurements here. What do we have over here on the VFD system? It's essentially zero. It's a night and day difference. Now that can affect that radiated noise, can affect other systems in your plant and cause intermittent problems or even damaging some sensitive electronics. So that's the difference that cable can make between your drive and your motor. Thank you for watching. I'm Steve Wetzel. And if you'd like more information, please contact us at factoryautomation at southwire.com.